Hello everybody, this is JD. I get a lot of requests about prayer in school, prayer in school. And I said, uh, basically, as President of the United States, the Constitution says I can neither affirm nor deny. And that is true. As President of the United States, I can neither affirm nor deny. And that's going to be my stance. But you as the citizen, where's your stance? Well, I got a piece of paper here. Constitution of the United States of America. You know how the press gets to do what it wants to do because the First Amendment, freedom of speech, freedom of the press. But did anyone of you ever bother to read the First Amendment? Amendment 1. Congress shall make no laws respecting an establishment of religion, nor prohibit the free exercise, therefore, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or of the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. I will repeat that. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise therefore or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress or grievance. Of grievance, not all. Notice where it's placed. The First Amendment. The very first thing it says. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting for the free exercise thereof. There's your answer. There is your answer. I guess I'm looking for the part where it says that the uh, federal government can neither affirm nor deny. I will find that if it's in there. And if it is in there, then I have a question to ask. If in there, I can find where it says the federal government can neither affirm nor deny religion in any way, shape, or form, then it's in two places. And if that's the case, why? Why did our forefathers find it so important that not only is it in the First Amendment, it is actually the very first thing, and it says Congress shall make no law respecting, right there, anything to it, an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise. Therefore, that's the practicing. So, prayer in school, Congress can't say anything about it because that's making a law. Then who does? That would be the local community. Yes, the local community. How about putting the Ten Commandments in a county courthouse or state courthouse? Congress shall make no law prohibiting the free exercise. I guess it's going to have to be up to the people of that county or state. That's right. Your answer to your question on prayer in school is in the First Amendment. What's my advice to you then? Fight for it. Challenge it in the Supreme Court. What right 
does Congress have to tell? It says, shall make no law. Does it say, say yes or say no? It says, shall make no law in a free exercise. And when you finally win back your right for you to decide whether or not prayers in school don't ever, ever again let this government take it away. That's my answer about prayer in school. Right now, I'm a citizen, not the president. I will fight with you on it because Congress has overstepped its bounds. The Supreme Court has allowed it. We need to make it clear Everybody. that our federal government can neither affirm nor deny a religion and that Congress shall make no laws the same that goes for freedom of the press goes for freedom of religion. If you can read a newspaper in a public school, then you can pray in a public school. Bottom line. Why did our forefathers make that so important? Because if you look at any suppressive government, the first thing they suppress is your relig religious beliefs. Think about it. Check history. Stalin suppressing religion in Russia. When communist China was in full fling, religion was not allowed. Now it is. In a free society, religious belief is allowed. The Taliban in Afghanistan is totally suppressed all religious beliefs in anything other than theirs. So why did our forefathers make that the very, very first thing on the First Amendment? They didn't put freedom of speech first. They didn't put freedom of press first. They put the freedom to express your religious beliefs first. It's up to you now. I lay it in your hand. Don't ask me I lay it in your hand. If you want prayer in school, fight for it. And then, never again let this federal government take away any of your rights and liberties. Thank you. This is J.D. for President. Remember, don't vote Democrat, don't vote Republican, vote American. Now, I have given you the tools. You do the job. You people out there, fight. The First Amendment is a strong and powerful amendment. The press uses it all the time. Now it's your turn. Take it and run with it. I put the ball in your court. As president, I will have to neither affirm nor deny. And that I will stand on because that is my job and responsibility to you, the American people. I can neither affirm nor deny any religious beliefs whatsoever. I have to stay neutral. I cannot say one thing one way or the other. But as an American citizen right now, and you as an American citizen, remember, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise, therefore. So you want prayer in school? Start fighting for it.